Welcome back. You look tired after killing those beetles. So let's play Fable Anniversary. Last time, we watched our family die. This time, we're look going tired to submit to our training people. towards becoming. Your training a hero. is about to begin. But you have many hard years of tasks and preparations beforehand. Yes. We wish to wish to leave our childhood behind we cut begin apprentice training. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Maze had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Oh, and I gained 50 gold. I guess that's just spending money we accumulated. Late again. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword. And let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Iron Longsword. A functional, if weathered, sword trapped, wrapped in a, in simple leather bindings and undecorated. The longsword is equally effective in defense and attack, and has been a mainstay of heroes throughout Albion's long history. It does 30 damage, which is 10 more than the stick does. Come on then, let's see what you've got, farm boy. That gets through. Come on, lad. Ow. Hit her. Is that the best you've got? Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. You can't stop me every time. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, oh, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got her training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learned the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. How did that get through? That's all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. 
We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance? Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Let's continue. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. There are a couple of mechanics that you didn't go over, like uh, you build up a combo gauge, which allows you to use a finisher ability. Um, but other than that, yeah. Are you ready for your archery training? Let's continue our training with the bow. A U-long bow. I didn't know we were 65 range. Or is it 60? I think it's 65. The weapon of archers in large armies, a Yu Longbow is long, resilient, and powerful. Don't say anything. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. When your hands start shaking is when you're going to do maximum damage. Well done! You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point. The middle one is worth three, and the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points, but you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. And you can, of course, free aim. Come on, lad. Get your bow out. how obviously they're moving, like, Mom. teleporting, instead of actually teleporting, or moving smoothly. Also, I like how the target was 10 points. Mom. You can just mash the X button need more. if you want to. Nice aiming. <clears throat> Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. Any princes want to practice melee combat? Not really. Let's see. Oh, these bloody birds. Can someone help me get rid of them? I need someone to kill the sparrows nesting around the guild. Disgusting vermin. Those damn sparrows are making a right mess of the guild. Just look at them. I'll pay you five gold for every one you kill. Just come and see me every time you kill another one. I don't think I've ever done this.
it's an evil deed. Duh. I might as well pick up the five gold from the one I did, though. Killed any of the bar? You got another. There are still more out there. Hey, man! I thought that might be good because I was helping clean the guild. Princes want to practice melee combat. There's just the will left to learn. It's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. All right, let's see what you've got. Hold the right trigger to access your will powers. Available powers will be displayed at the bottom right of the screen. The power can be accessed this way using the right trigger to use your. Whoops. Good. That's it. See how many I'm we used to scrolling through my spells. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You will only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana, and once used, it takes time to replenish. Attacking the demon door on accident is considered aggressive. Excellent use of magic. Well done. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I believe Whisper is about to go into the Guildwoods, if you wish to join her. Uh... Let's go see Very what well. she wants. I'll be in the map room when you're ready to continue. Any princes want to practice melee combat? Melee combat. I just go into the woods. The beetle nest is just at the top of the... Wait. Did you hear that? It's coming from over there. Bandits. If only we could get across that stream. I know. Why don't you use your bow? Or some of that lightning the guildmaster taught you? I'll heal you if you get hurt. when I inevitably get hurt, but okay. We did it! Did you see the look on their faces? Wait till the Guildmaster hears about this. I think he's gonna be more upset that there were bandits here at all, but... Access to that delicious experience because the minute XP you'll get from a single band at this point matters at all to have. Princes want to practice melee combat?
The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. All right. Anyone of interest who's not just gonna... Nope. I suppose you're wondering how you passed the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. Attack me! I suppose the blocked hits do count. Attack me! Very good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. You're getting better at this. Excellent. And finally, cast lightning at me. That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test, and you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. All right, let's go then. Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring and strange winds are blowing. Your choices whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. It's time for you to leave us, lad. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. 
Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. So you can spend things in your basic stats. Um, physique is your strength, health is your HP, um, toughness is your damage resistance. Then in dexterity you have speed, which is, well, the rate of fire, and also, interestingly, your melee speed, accuracy, which, you know, accuracy in with your bows, and guile, which is actually your charisma skill, as well as your sneak skill. Magic, on the other hand, has you learn new spells. Um, typically, a warrior will still learn Battle Charge, which um, is a good mobility spell, and Multi-Strike, which um, makes your attacks do well, effectively double the number of hits. Um, I'm mostly going to use the Slow Time spell physical shield and heal life or perhaps uh, ghost sword but for now there's nothing I can really buy so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase accuracy level 1 There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Quest completed. Guild training. We get a lamp, two resurrection files, and two health potions. A will potion, apple pie, I somehow picked up a single gold, and 59 renown and 610 generic XP. To take a quest, interact with the map table. Core story quests are highlighted with the guild seal icon. Check the guild for more quests. So this is the basic cycle of the game. You take quests from here, go out into the world, maybe boast a bit to boost your renown if you succeed at performing certain acts, and that's come back, spend your experience, etc. So far, we are only really able to do the Wasp Menace quest and the picnic area infestation of wasps. 500 gold and 200 renown. Um, I think these are DLC quests, um, related to the Lost Chapters DLC. So, let's take our first quest. And head on out into the world. Remember, following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest objective. You're sure to find Let's talk to you. this guy. Um, so he sells titles, which will actually affect how people um, view you and react to you. You can see the base value on the right and the um, effective There's cost with your level of guile. Wasps are attacking the picnic area! Left. Follow me! Follow me! So guile can be fairly important to take if you plan Follow on me. buying a lot of things. Oh, to have a sword again. I got you where you stand. It's this way! It's this way! Please! You've got to see-
Yeah, wasps are even more horrifying in Fable than in real life. Trying to pull aggro on this boss, but it doesn't seem to care that I'm pelting it with arrows. For saving me. I'm gonna tell everyone about you. How I used to have trouble with this quest. But we're not done. Remember the wasp we mentioned in the Book of Monsters? Strike down the wasps. Very helpful, Guildmaster. Your bow may prove useful against the Wasp Queen. More wasps have spawned, but they are no match for your weapon. Attack the Wasp Queen again. Remember, you can also use your will powers against her. Tr don't worry, the Guildmaster does not chime in this often through the whole game. Yeah! Hey! Hey! What's up, yeah? Right? What do you reckon on him? 500 gold, 276 renown, and 940 generic XP. You've become more renowned. The higher your renown level, the more your presence is acknowledged, celebrated, or even feared. To increase it further, perform quests, show off your quest trophies, and do as many hero deeds as possible. All increases are displayed at the bottom of the screen with this icon. You've received a new quest card. Remember to return to the guild often to level up using experience you've acquired. Your guild seal will flash with the symbol when you're ready to advance. To level up, use your guild seal to teleport back to the guild and walk into the experience spending platform near the map table. But first, there's a lot of food to be taken. Uh, food is used as minor healing. And also to get fat. Standard beard card, which we can use to get a shave. Health potion. There's a sundial. The sundial was built to commemorate Jack's most f famous of victories in the Battle of the Bloody Harvest. Let's see now. Maze is waiting for you at a Bowerstone at Bowerstone Tavern, which can be reached from Lookout Point. But most importantly. We have the Wasp Queen's Head Trophy, which we want to assign because if we hold up trophies well, around people who, chaser. um, oops, oh, oops, I feel ill. There we go. If more people see a particular trophy, then you get more renown for showing it off. I'm not sure if there's a hard cap on witnesses. Maze is looking for you. He waits for you in the Barstone Tavern. Right, what is that way? And we can go. We don't have to go see Maze, but 
I want to go to Bowerstone. It's kind of the central city for the whole series. Look at this filthy pile of rags. He really expects people to give him gold. Well, if you want, I'll sell you something that'll really annoy him. Used to be an adventurer like yourself, but look at me now. Begging to survive and getting bullied by this brat all the time. You must be able to get rid of him somehow. Anything will do. Use your imagination. Ah, you're as bad as that stinking beggar. Oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> Funniest thing I've seen in years. You've earned my thanks, hero. I'm sure you'll make many friends in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero. All right, let's head to Bowerstone. No, that's settled. I probably could have just used my sword on the, the guy. Oi! You're new here, aren't you? We have some rules around here that you need to know about. Bowerstone is a peaceful town. Uh, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor, after all. Have a look around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. What can I do, you? Oh, yeah. Don't go breaking any laws. So we've unlocked a teleport point. You don't look like You're sure Let's see what this guy to has to sell. Health potions. Will potions. Resurrection vials. Um... It's not only your guile that actually affects things. Uh, certain uh, cities will have certain demands for different items. I really like that system. Um, it's a little gameable, but there are also certain items that are especially wanted. So you can uh, sell them for way more. Let's see here. Anything I'd find useful here? Probably a spade for digging up treasure, and a fishing rod for fishing. Uh, cider crates are a trade good. They are explicitly for buying cheap and selling expensive. The market system isn't exactly deep, but... Alright. You've got the makings of quite a hero. That wasp was dead me. So... Over here. What I can do is actually pull out my trophy. Come up to this crowd, hold it up, and get even more renown. Great. Yay! Your skill has been recognized. Maybe I need to go into the tavern and do it again. 
It's probably where most of the NPCs are loaded right now. Ridiculous. Yay! It's not, you know, imperative to have high renown early on, but it does help with prices. Wow. I forgot that it's that harsh. Also, I like how small the slum is. Uh, he has a view crossbow. Uh, I don't know the speed difference between crossbows and longbows. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna save up for the oak longbow, I think. You uh, should, should sell maze. armor too. He's in the tavern. Swords, axes, You've come shield, to the right armor. place. Oh no, huh? Impressive wasp slaying. But there are bigger creatures out there. Yay! Well, here's Maze. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes. I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakvale? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor. And there's no way to be certain yet, but I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Check the guild for more quests. We are gonna hear check the guild for more quests. Play card pairs! Let's see, what does the innkeeper sell? Health potions, spell potions, food, and trade items. And beer. The tavern? Marvelous, isn't it? Hero! 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 Ugh. Alright, this is the barber shop. I think one of the houses we can purchase is up here, and that's what that house yeah. Alright. What do you think? Please obey the law while you're here. Hello, hello again. Chicken, what? What? Oh, hello, chicken forgive me. I'm Mr. Gout, the headmaster of the school here. Not that it's much of a school these days, the way Lady Grey keeps slashing her funding. Can you believe she sold half our library? As if mansions were more important than the education of our children. Anyway, if you could donate any suitable books you find on your travels, you'd be doing us a great favor. This is why I was reading the Guild Library. Ah, hello again. Have you found any interesting reading material? Why, that's... The Creatures of Albion, Volume 1. A perfect way to learn natural sciences. Ah, it lifts one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen interest in education. Today, we'll be studying Volume 1 of The Creatures of Albion. Now, who here knows what screamers are? 
<laughs> I bet you've never heard one, though, have you? That's because they stay away from the towns. But out in the countryside, it's a rather different story. And you can sometimes hear them crying out in the night. Their scream can pierce even the bravest of men's hearts. Hearing it will not just chill you to the bone, but sap your energy, too. According to the sage Richard Phillips, they feed upon the life force of men, sucking out their souls. Either way, if you ever see one, you'll soon end up like them, screaming. <laughs> Where are you going then? What's he like? What are you doing? He's a teacher. All right, so you can only really do one a day. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to show all of those scenes on screen. Houses and shops can be bought if they have a sales sign outside the front door. Most buildings without owners will be available to buy. If you have the wealth, you can invest in a property and rent it out to others. Buy a Marshall home if you wish to get married and live there with your partner. Costs 1,500 gold. Guild of Zeros. This satirical pamphlet purports to be a journal of a zero in training and is a thinly veiled attack on the guild, the self-claimed superiority of its members and the cult of celebrity that surrounds them. The author disappeared shortly after its publication. You are not a bad person. Originally written to keep help reformed bandits and serial killers to become accepted members of society, this book teaches you how to appear less scary to impressionable villagers. It seems not waving your weapons about, avoiding dark clothes and evil-looking tattoos, and letting out the odd giggle will all work a treat. Yes, it's technically evil because I'm technically stealing, but it's for the good of education. So, who's the evil one now? Huh? It's algorithms? <laughs> I believe there's a mission over here. Hello there. I don't think you've met my daughter, have you? She's rather lovely, if I say so myself, though a bit fussy. She's keen to meet strong, handsome men like you. Yeah. That's fine. She might be a bit disappointed, though. That's one aspect of the games that I don't care about, the whole marriage system. It's cool that it's there, but it's not of interest to me. So let's work back to the guild, spend our experience, and see what quest we're going to take on next time. Ah, oh, now this one looks promising. Oh, hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I suppose Maze knows best. But where are my manners? I'm Briar Rose. No doubt you've heard of me. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. I have to get to Knothole Glade for an important mission. Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the Guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. Let's see here. Uh, toughness would be nice, but I am going to take Guile. And let's see. I need a lot of experience to actually learn it. Ooh. 
Uh, once the spell is cast, each arrow... Oh, I didn't realize there was a multi-arrow spell. Heck yeah. It's gonna be super helpful. So... Interestingly, we have two options. To help the guards defend Orchard Farm from a bandit assault, or to lead bandits to the crates and cover their backs while they steal them. Uh, you get more money, but obviously it's an evil quest to take. This game really emphasizes the, hey, you can be evil bit. But, of course, let's take the Protect Orchard Farm quest and boast about it. Because this is one of my favorite systems regarding quests. You can do it naked with no armor. Take no damage. Don't use weapons or aggressive magic. I'm not sure how that's supposed to Oh, fist fighting. Um, make sure nothing is stolen. And ensure guards don't die. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take... No armor? I'll try without a scratch. And protect property. I don't trust the AI, so I'm not taking protect guards. So we can actually wager earnings, which I really like. For some reason, I thought it had to do with renown. I think doing more just raises renown. But next time on Let's Play Fable Anniversary, we're going to do just that. Protect the farm. See you guys then.